and welcome back. This is Code Town for another War Rights event. We now have the map two for this weekend's UEC. It is a contention, and it is Corn Crib. We have right now 136 on the CSA and 144 on the Union, so slightly imbalanced, but a few more might be coming in. So we will see. Starting out with the Union team, though, on Artie, they have Sergeant Dark from the HL as their one gun team. And let's swing over and check out their infantry. They have on their team the 51st New York, the SP, uh, joined by the Shenandoah regulars. They also have the 4th Georgia, the Alabama German Legion, the NYV, the New York Volunteers, the 5th Ohio, the 20th Georgia, joined by the 4th New Jersey, and the 52nd New York. For their commanders on the infantry side, they have Thank you for showing up, Corporal uh, Thank you for showing up. Wellesley? Uh, yeah, I think I'm saying that way right. If I'm saying it wrong, let me know. Right? Yeah, I think I'm saying it right. We got uh, Dreek from the GC. We've got John Beck leading the 52nd New York. We've got Martin leading the AGL, Venom leading the SB, uh, Charky leading the 4th Georgia, and Jumbo leading the 20th Georgia. All right, now let's check out the CSA team. I'll start out with their Artie. Looks like they have two guns. Admins, can I have a hug? No, no hugs. They have LFL under Mr. Tells leading one cannon. And then we've got Jeff Davis battery under Corporal Habib leading the other cannon. Now let us check out their team. They have on their infantry the 3rd Alabama, the 8th Florida. The second USC, the LFL, the GC, uh, specifically the 20th New York, and the 56th Virginia. Leading their team, they have Slaughter leading the 56th, Colonel Vibar leading the 20th New York, Captain Eddie leading the 2 USC, Captain Williamson leading 3rd AL, Hogg is leading the 8th Florida, uh, Captain Rousseau is leading the 6th Texas, who I think I didn't mention, I do apologize. I'm missing somebody. I'm missing Ark, who is leading the LFL. Where's 6th Texas? How did I miss you guys? Oh, yeah, how is the 6th Texas? Oh, they're back here. Okay, there they are. All right, we are live at 40. Now, for this game mode, it is a capture point. So right now, the point that is live is this point over here that is looking under this very menacing um, cannon here, who is well positioned. Look at where they position this cannon here. Like, you won't even see this cannon if you're not paying attention here. It's good use of concealment and good overwatch here for the points. I imagine they'll probably have triple canister or double canister loaded for it. Now, I... They might be giving away their position here if they're not careful about uh, where they put this limber here. But I really like the way that they've used the bush here for concealment along with the, uh, the uh, shadows from the tree here to conceal that cannon. It's assuming they leave it there. If they move it out of there, I'm going to not give you guys as much uh, credit anymore. <laughs> That's a perfect spot for it. Leave it right there. Stop moving it. Stop it, Dark. No. Oh, my compliment's going away. Uh, but the Union had the benefit of having the closer point, so they will be able to dig in first. Let's see. We will see where the CSA, how they decide to try to attack this point. They really have, a, well, they've got a couple options. You could try to use the concealment of the woods and try to get close to the engagement. You could try to fight over here at kind of a mid-range battle here. Or you could try to uh, flank around using the corn and try to take the upper ground up here and kind of fight downhill in this fashion. So, um, And they, they are not mutually exclusive. You can send multiple units out on multiple missions. So... For example, looks like most of the CSA is going for mid, but here comes LFL is going to try for this uh, attack through the woods here, which are very hard for me to see through. And he's going to continue trying to maneuver into the woods. The Union team is going to start maneuvering. Looks like Venom is going to try to get a better position out here on these rocks. Okay. All right. Good job. Good job. Well, uh, that was better. This is worse. Uh, I can see why he's looking for this position here to aim right there. It's better be worth it. Hey, 
You gotta get the shot off. Yeah, That's key for Artie. You can't take too long. Yeah, it's torch. You take too long, it doesn't matter. Yep. Looking for that perfect shot. Never comes. She get killed. Yeah, really? LFL has done a good job getting into a, a position over here, yeah. although... Who was... Oh, they haven't seen him yet. LFL has snuck up on him. A nice surprise attack by and Williamson has joined with them. And they have devastated this AGL line here. Dreed is going to try to oppose him. But a nice infiltration there by the LFL. You play in front of our line, you need to move. All right, NYV, independent fire. Anything about it? Independent fire! Independent fire. Independent fire. Independent fire. Independent fire. They're moving right, they're moving right. Right, boys, take him, take him. Take and so we do have a pretty spread attack. So you see they've kind of taken those two routes. And they have... I didn't see this attack here. And look at this, the Artie's still looking for their perfect shot, which you ain't got off yet. Oh, Artie. I'm hard on you because I love you. And look who's coming in now. No arty for you. Slaughter says no. You took too long. It's my cannon now. No cannon for you. And look at the great attack angle by the CSA. CSA's got arty. And now the CSA has the Union in an excellent position in an excellent kill box here with Williamson and... Kind of a firing line over here. LFL got beat up a little bit, but they did their job. They created chaos in the back of the line. And the Union is now kind of pinned up against this wall. Now, it's still a pretty strong position for the Union. And CSA is leaving a flag in the dirt. That is a crime against flags at the moment. Um, but Hog is going to pick it up, so it's okay. Is that Hog? No, Fritz is going to pick it up. You got Eddie over here kind of on overwatch. And it looks like we've got a redeployment here. Slaughter has redeployed to this side to aid Williamson. But who's coming in here? Williamson is going in. I approve this message. Punch them in the face. Get close and shoot them in the face. Look at how much damage they're doing. Ark is back in the fight as well. Slaughter, if he could get into this fight as well. Here comes 20th. Push him. Hit him. Hit him hard. Here comes Slaughter. A nice attack. I really love the way the CSA did this attack here. We'll see if it's, you know, this Union's doing a decent job of staying together. And that might save them here. But this CSA attack, I think, is really great here. You know, they drew him off over here, drew their attention. Then they, you know, captured this position, and then once they captured this position, they hit him from a different angle again. But I think the Union has been able to hold on and able to keep their numbers together, using their flags and protecting their flags enough that they're going to be able to hold. Now, one criticism I would have right now, or, or suggestion I would have, is you can have a crew. It's it's it, if they've occupied a cannon, you can have your crew occupy a cannon. So the CSA already should have moved up here, taken this cannon and turned it on them with canister. But the Union, because they were able to maintain interior lines and keep those flags up, they were able to weather that storm here. So even though I have nothing bad to say about that CSA attack, a little disjointed, but almost nothing bad to say about it. Uh, the Union was able to weather it without too much difficulty. And you can see the flag, the the morale state is not too uh, different. The problem for the CSA is right now, because they failed to take this flag and take that flag down, they're going to lose a whole morale state here as soon as that bar for the blue team fills all the way up. And I don't think they have time for another attack here. So again, like that already positioned this, this crew right here, I would say should be the crew that goes and does the... Uh, Take the cannon mission. Um, Habib's crew, I would say, should do it. I'll leave this crew up here. Just think about what canister shot at that range would do. As the AGL waits to get their guns back. 
I don't care. You don't, Eddie? Really don't give a fuck. No, don't. I think you do, Eddie. I think you're. I think you're fibbing. Did you see the meme I am sent to Caleb about it? Ah, yes. Well, oh my God! It moved the. It moved the cash. I saw that, Eddie. Oh, uh, Where's yeah. your line? Uh, it's on the right side. That, that's Hands up. Also... Come over here. We're, we're, uh, we're it. <laughs> we're it. We can't shoot or nothing. Just hide. Uh, so Eddie, uh, just try to them, try to keep them here. Uh, as soon as the new point will uh, spawn, then we will go for the next point because we cannot take this. By the way, that is rifle you fire. That is. Oh, Eddie. Oh, this one's dead. Oh, yeah, did did Eddie die? You, you just died. Yeah, just now. Is that is that it? I are, are you it? That's just, yeah, I'm it. He said I can't shoot. Oh, Wait, all fine. Get thirteen. I'm back, boys. Keep so I like the L position here that the Union has set up a very wise decision so that the LFL could not pull another flank attack like they did. So good job there by the Union. I think that's a much more secure line now than they did previously. And they have taken the point. There you go. They are now down to engage for the CSA. Now, the nice thing for the CSA is look where the next point is. The key is, can you get your troops over there fast enough before the Union mounts an attack? Because right now, I think if the Union, who's all concentrated, launches an attack, it's going to be very hard for the CSA to stop them. Um, we shall see, though. Let's go take a look at that next point and kind of... I think this is the one on the road. Yep, it's this point. So we'll see what Alabama's thinking. Um, they may be looking to do an intercept and leaving the... Flag um, take here to maybe another unit. But it's very important to get that flag up and get that time started. But the problem is they might not have a flag. And yep, so the Union is not wasting time. Here's Fort Georgia under Clarkey. He is moving straight on up. The rest of the CSA Union team, though, is starting to flood in. That's good for the CSA team. Get that defensive position set up. Yeah, third Alabama is looking to intercept, but it looks like Fort George is going to be able to bypass them. Yeah, this camera is tough. Left wheel. 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 Here comes the NYV. Again, the key right now, I'd say, for the Union is to try to push them off before the Union can get really organized. I'm sorry, the CSA really organized. I hate it when my socks are wet, too. The problem for the Union right now is they're coming in piecemeal. Um, and that might have been, you know, I was talking about them earlier. I think this is the death of 3rd Alabama right here, which held up a good chunk of the Union. So that delay attack there by the 3rd Alabama has really, you know, stopped this uh, Union attack here from really pulling off like it needed to. Well, here comes John Beck. He's going to try to make a maneuver down the road. But he does have the remnants of 3rd Alabama on his... And they got their flag out. Man! Great job, 3rd Alabama. I got with uh, let's see, we got another Union attack angle developing here. Oh, they might have pointed Georgia, might have gotten on the side here. Who is this? And Venom has gotten completely on the side of the CSA here in a great little maneuver. And the Union has turned that flank and they are driving the attack forward. Although here comes 56, Slaughter's going to try to take that flank out. It is a general melee. Here comes the GC. Keeping those flags up is key. So who's ever got that flag down that's not picking it up right now? Naughty, naughty. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Oh, and Russo doesn't like it. He's going to hit you in the face. And the CSA has won the battle. 
You know, you still have John Beck over here, but he's a little bit isolated right now. And you have some remnants over here. You got AGL over here, and you got Fort Georgia. But I don't think that's enough to punch through this CSA line at the moment. So we will have to wait and see. We'll see if the CSA just wants to turtle up a little bit and kind of hold that position, or if they can try to knock out any of these units. Liardi is trying to hit John Beck, but they ain't found him yet. And we that already hit him, just as I was getting off. So we've got one CSA element. I bet this is Williamson. Yeah, he's moving back out to try to ambush. Meanwhile, we've got a major attack here on this side. LFL and TUSC are there to stop him. Uh, Williamson, though, is moving forward. He's found the enemy, and he's going to attack him. And he is going to slam into the AGL in Fort Georgia here and try to knock out this any any momentum of this attack. And just wash over this element here in a great charge. That has opened up a bit of a seam, though. Here comes the NYV, but who's there to stop him? Here comes Hog, 8th Florida. On the flag. He is to knock down these flags here. King has the right idea. Reset that timer. It is so critical to reset this timer. Don't, no, you gotta cover King. Don't leave him. Don't leave King. Stay there, these three men, fifth. King. Do it! Do it! Do it! Uh, heroes! Absolute heroes! Why do I say that? They have just reset the timer. So now the CSA has got to get that flag back up or else they don't get that uh, credit. It is so important to keep in mind of the flags in this game. So the CSA has won that overall battle here, but now the timer has been reset again. And Venom is going to try to knock out Slaughter here. And a nice charge by Slaughter here. Now can the SB stop them from getting that flag up? Oh, 51st halted their charge, but oh, Williamson got him in the ass. Company behind in double ranks, fallen. <laughs> and the CSA is held, but they have not gotten that flag up yet. Crocky, once we're loaded, do you want to charge down? Yeah, 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 okay, okay. The CSA has them a little bit uh, in a sandwich at the moment. Where's the rest of the Union? They're still trying to get back up. Here's the closest element here. Who is this? AGL. Trying to move back up. CSA has now gotten the flag back up. Oh, and now we have a maneuver. I bet this is Williamson again. He's looking for another counterattack to disrupt the Union. He's been doing it all day and it's been working wonderfully for him. Here he comes. Using that ticket advantage that they built up, disrupting the Union line. So now any any idea about doing an attack here has now been disrupted. And that clock goes on. You've got John Beck over here who's putting in some distracting fire, but... Uh, I mean, I don't hate it, but I don't think it's really having too much of an impact. Now here comes the main... I mean, if we can keep draw off a couple units, I guess it's not a bad thing. And now here comes the charge by Jumbo in the 20th. Rum is, this is still too, a little bit too piecemeal. 
You got Jumbo going in, but where's, you know, okay, now here comes the NYB. But it's a little bit too separated. And the key is to get that flag down. What you need to do is get it far enough to get the flag down. So you got Oleg here doing the right thing, trying to get it down. And not quite in time. CSA is now doing what the Union did before. They are guarding that point here. And AGL is going to go right into this kill box here. But again, good job by that Union. Who's this? Johnny Cobb getting that flag down, doing what he needs to do. That is what is key right now. It doesn't take very long. There we go. He did it. Oh, Lord, again. Now they've got to get the flag back up again. Uh, Looks like 2 USC was able to chase off the 52nd there. now keep in mind look at right now the morale state is about even if I take away the morale state that they lost for that initial fight. And Williamson has gone back out and he is intercepting the 20th here. Williamson trying to buy some time. He knows he'll spawn very close and get right back into the fight, so he's willing to spend it. And again, he understands that, you know, from a ticket perspective, it's fine. You know, you're trading basically one-to-one, -one, and really it's time that matters right now, not uh, tickets, so. CSA has a pretty much L shape here on the point. Uh, we got a maneuver out here. Who is this? Hog is maneuvering out here. Possibly he might catch... Who is this 52nd out in the open? We'll see. Company, hold on the fence. Far hold on the fence. Fire to do. So 8th Florida should have very little trouble pushing off this element here. In fact, I'd be surprised if John Beck stays here for very long. Yep, there it is. But they, you know, they they, they did their thing. They, they, you know, created a gap. 8th Florida was drawn off. Now here comes Venom trying to exploit it. We'll see if he can do it. Here's 6 Texas. Russo's there to try to stop him. Good reaction here by the GC. Reacted in turn to where the attack was coming from. And with that, that has basically melted that attack by the SB. Now you still got a couple survivors over here, but that's just scattered. Right, so... Yeah, 
And it looks like the Union has taken this side over here. See if they can press the attack before the CSA can react. Again, they gotta get that flag down, that's key. Jordan is doing the right thing. Again, you gotta get that flag down. There we go. Fort Georgia doing the right thing. Protect this man, raise the flag. Protect this man. Good, good, good. Get that flag out. Spawn flag. Rebels in the west. Is there a rebel flag still up ah. in the north that we... All right. Now right the Union right. needs to get that other flag up if they want to try to capture this point, but they only have eight seconds. It's probably too late. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late. Nope. Nope. You're wrong. It's too late. It's too late. See, it's already over. Too late. You took too long. But you. But what they did do, though, was they prevented the CSA from um, getting another morale state up. So that is a, you know, they're keeping themselves in the fight. So good job there by the Union was able to uh, at least neutralize it. Now here's the next point. You've got the Union already, 52nd is already pretty much guarding it. They just need to get a flag over here now and dig into this position. Um, the bad thing about this point is the CSA already um, can now kind of make itself felt. Смотрите, слева от дома линейка стоит. Справа, справа от дома линейка стоит. Наводитесь в маленький, маленький сарайчик левее большого, правее большого дома. Давай я наведусь. Yeah, it was supposed to be Churchill, but um, I think he butchered it a bit. Yeah. Is there an enemy line in front of us, Eddie? Don't worry about it. It looks like it. Yeah. I think they got numbers on them. That might, uh, I might clip that, Eddie. Oh, I shot his officer. Oh, right in the back. Stay on the fence, lads. I'm perfect for the second fucking line coming here. I didn't say fucking, I'd say something else. Anyway. So the policy is, you can curse all you want, you just can't curse at somebody. That is that is the policy. That is the rule for the UEC. You can say fucking all you want, you just can't say, you know, you fucking bastard. Right face, double quick. Right face, double quick. Go, go, go. Twentieth, white face, buffers, white double quick. Go, go, go. Come on. Hold. Trent is for out. Hold. Ooh, AGL's in trouble here. They got a lot of fire coming in on them. But they do have help, and a lot of it. We'll see if they can dig in here and maintain this position. Here comes Williamson. I like the way he's... Oh, but uh, some of the 88th New York, it looks like, came in to kind of intercept them. And kind of took the brunt out of that charge to kind of save the rest of the uh, the Union and let them get their flags back and kind of form up a defensive line. So that sacrifice by 88 there was pretty key. And I think that little maneuver there by those 88 guys saved them. 
Okay, Aim straight at them with the wick bar. Straight at them. Follow, follow, follow. Uh, follow. Fuck USA! We can say that? Ah, uh, fuck USA. <laughs> Maybe? I think it's long. Uh, that's close to it. So when I'm talking about fire rates, as you can see right now, the CSA element is doing more than 6 per 30 seconds. And they are able to out-attrit this Union force. Although now that they maneuver it, they're going to lose a little bit of that time. We'll see if they got into a better firing position to do so. And, yep, they're going to have to get out of there. They maneuver out. John Beck has got his men as well back in. He's going to try to hold this position. So the problem is right now that the CSA has basically pushed the Union off of this. And even though it's going to be hard to take, I believe they can do it and recapture this point here. We'll see. So, Aitor, the message you were asking about, the... It's not here anymore. No. And Colonel Vibar is going to head down to the point. We'll see if he can do it. Slaughter is going to join him. I think that's going to be necessary. I think with this amount of troops here, they'll be able to sustain themselves long enough to get the flag down and the other flag up. We'll see if the Union can react in time. And a good maneuver here, 6 Texas charging into the SB, even though I think they'll lose. That is keeping them off of this corner and taking some fire off of uh, the elements that are taking the point. So good job on their part. And the CSA has gotten the flag up. And they have succeeded, I believe, in their mission. <laughs> that was friendly fire right there. That was unfortunate. I think that came from that gun over there. I believe. If I'm wrong, I'm, I apologize. They said LFL, so I think they uh, were saying it was a friendly fire hit. Maybe it wasn't, actually, because LFL just did a shot over here, so maybe it wasn't them. Maybe it was the AGL over there. But either way, they succeeded in their job, and they have taken the point. Although this uh, flank is now open here, but oh, what happened over here? Ah, oh, Williamson has retake has taken this fence and is now squeezing the Union. Let's see, NYV's gonna try to push him off here. This is a dangerous spot to leave. Uh, Third Alabama, and I agree with getting them off of this fence here as quickly as possible. I just don't know if this is enough. Fifth Ohio joining in. AGL now joining in. That sh we'll see if that's enough. They haven't beat him yet. I love you. Jesus loves you too. Oh, that's nice. See, the Union didn't pick up their flag. This is a huge mistake. All right, there we go. Now it's up. But even leaving a little bit of time where your flag is down and the other team's flag is up can be crucial. Uh, Fredrickson, you got our flag. Come with us. Come with us. Come with us. Come with us. Fredrickson, this way, this way, this way. Yep, yep, behind you, right behind you. And 3rd Alabama is pulling off, but they did uh, a lot of damage and they bought some time, which is all they needed to do. And in fact, you see another unit is now coming up here. Now Hogg is going to rotate up here and try to finish the job here as Williamson gets his men back. Oh 
And you can see that these guys are now in a bad spot. They are not going to be able to maintain this position with that other element on the fence. This rock is no longer tenable. And they were going to find that out here fairly soon or a little bit later. But at some point, they got to figure it out. And they have figured it out. That position is no longer viable. And they are going to be pushed out further away from the point. I would say right now the best option for the Union may be a rotation through the corn and try to retake this corner here. We'll see if they can pull it off, though. Yo, let's just charge that point. Hey, Venom, Venom, let's take that point. Venom, let's, let's take that point. There's like only one unit. Let's just take it. Me and George are going to charge the point. No, Venom, there are two units in the cornfield. Two units, two flags. That's what's there right now, guys, just so you're aware. <laughs> it's not just two units. Take that point. It's pretty weak. Uh, if, if, you, if you say so. Uh, good job by this unit here. Who is this? Uh, Eddie, uh, the NYV is trying to maintain this fence. This fence is pretty key here. Uh, but now, as you can see, Second, two USC nine. has rotated into these rocks, and you still have a threat out here. By I bet this is Williamson. Yep, there's Williamson. He is still a threat out there. You see, the Union is trying to mass up, trying to move forward here as best they can. Now, the Union does have to make a play here, one way or the other. They can either try to go around this way, or they can try to go around this way. But either way, they need to take one of these flanks, at least one, so they can take the uh, take the point here. They are going to go, so they're going straight in for it. Take it down, Cobb. Take it down. Take it down. They might be able to do oh, it here. Lord. We'll see. Oh, damn. But here comes oh, damn. Rousseau oh, to try to stop them. Get in there. They I haven't go, go, killed go, go, the flag bearer. Down. That's the key. The, the guy taking down the point. There you go. Now they did. I'd say the CSA is being a little bit dangerous here, not taking out, uh, making sure that they Get secure the this. Up. And in fact, Fort George's attack here might be able to succeed because the CSA is hanging back a little bit too much. You can't let them take the flag down. Yep, and there we go. They've done it. They were a little bit too conservative. Now, this was a good maneuver, though, by SB here, taking this corner here and securing this side. That's what I was talking about. They were able to secure one of these sides here and, you know, give enough cover to let them get the point up. We'll see if the unit can hold it, though. This is a killing field in here. And the union has taken it. Only a few minutes left, though. This will probably be the end of the match here. This will determine whether it's a union, uh, whether it's a tie or a CSA victory. If the union can hold this flag up until the timer runs out, or if the CSA can knock it off, that is uh, what will decide this match now. You can see this element here is facing two different firing angles, and this is kind of in a. Uh, yeah, bit of a kill box here. CSA needs to rotate, an, I would say, rotate an element out here to try to put an angle on uh, the SB. Now, oh, here we go, and it's two USC that's going to try to do it. Let's we make won. them unbe there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll cut you your Jetzt vom Zahn. Get 
So right now the Union's in a... Well, wait a second. Did I say the CSA was going to... Let me correct myself here. The Union is in a great position right now to win. Um, the CSA is going to have to um, retake that point. I'm sorry, I got that back. I don't know. My mind is... I'm much today. So right now the CSA has to recapture this point here within the next uh, few minutes here. Right. Or the Union will win. The best the CSA can hope for is a tie if they do so. I, I generally don't see them. Wellesley, one line. I was on the fence pushing right. Uh, they're coming right towards they're, us. Uh, oh, yeah, they're, right right side. Side. they're pushing. And here comes the CSA. They're going to try to knock down the point. We'll see if they can do it. Yeah, get them. Shoot them. Shoot them. Shoot them. Sitting ducks, get him! To be honest with you, at this point, I wouldn't say shoot, I'd say charge. You need to keep them from getting that point down. Charge them out, let's go, let's go, let's go. Kill these rebels. There we go, here it comes. And the CSA is not taking the point down. That is a critical mistake. There we go, now they're taking it down. Third Alabama. And once they take it down, that I believe will be the end of it. There'll be another point, but nobody will be close enough to it. And the uh, Union will win, regardless. Yep, it's too late now. And that is the end. And now it'll just be a melee for the end here. But the Union will hold the map. To be honest with you, it was that first hold, that initial hold, that won the match for them. Um, great fighting by the CSA, trying to uh, keep them out, but they never quite caught up. So great job there by that Union team. Um, great attacks by the CSA, though. Uh, very little to um, criticize on it. But anyway, that's it for the UEC for this weekend. Um, like I said, I won't be doing HRE tomorrow. I'll be uh, taking off for Easter. Um, but I probably will do – I might do a live stream tonight uh, for the uh, HDC. But anyway, I hope you guys, if you do celebrate, enjoy the holiday. If not, I uh, hope you guys have a great weekend. And uh, that's all from me. Until next time.